Josiah and Lisa have invested all their savings in a huge 10,000 square metre claim, working a small pocket in the centre. All our assets have pretty much been sold to fund this venture. If we don't find Opal, it'll all be for nothing. We're not together, we're just good friends. But we've both invested the same amount of money and we're equal partners. We live day to day, so uh, there is a lot of pressure on, you know, putting food on the table. Our season target this year is 60,000 Australian dollars. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got a bit of water down here. Yeah, a lot more than what I expected. It's going to be a bit of a pain to get all this water out. So we're just putting the, the clay down on the ground so that um, the water soaks into the clay. So we just dig a little bit and then we clean out, bog out, and then uh, dig a bit more. So it's climbing out now and it's quite dangerous because block can just fall down. It's, it's metal, it's, it's, it can, it's very dangerous. My life's on the line here. Shouldn't have to take these risks. seems to be working again. Let's keep on working. This mine is actually quite dangerous at the moment because we've only got one entry and exit point and uh, we're currently tunneling to a second shaft. We'll have a, a back door, if you will. The claim's two shafts are six metres apart. Josiah and Lisa have spent the last month trying to connect them with a tunnel. We've got lots of colour happening up here. Our priority is connecting the shafts, so yeah, we have a the exit. So we've um, we've prioritised that over digging out the cover. We measured it here, and we are at almost six meters. So we must be must be almost there. The other hole should be straight, like just in front of this ladder. So like. The thing is, what we did, we just stand here at the ladder and we just like, oh shit, we actually are quite, we are no. quite a bit to the right. Yeah, so I was saying, go back, to, uh, we're a bit to the left. To the left. we go further to the right. No, we need to go to the left. If you're here straight, we're digging to the right and we need to go to the left. No, I think we need to dig further to the right. To the left. Because if you stand here straight, the whole that what we're digging is going to the right, and we have to go straight. So we need to dig more to the left. Because the hole is directly in line with this ladder. Yeah, which is there, not there. No, it's there. All right. Well, let's see. Just want to make it today, like, feel like we're going to smash this last little bit and just crack through. Oh! We're through! We're through! Woo! Yes! Look at that! Yeah! Woo! That there's our second drill hole. And we've got fresh air pouring in through. The most important part is now that we can just climb over to the second shaft. So it's way safer now. Oh. My God. My we God. did it, Lisa. We did it. Watch the hole. Watch the hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> So we've got a section of wood here, opalized wood. Millions of years ago, must have been like some sort of tree roots or something. And then it slowly eroded away and the opals come in and, and um, occupied that space. 
Opal forms when silica-rich water fills cracks and voids caused by faults or decomposing matter. The water slowly hardens and over millions of years creates opal. Whoa, there it is. Oh, wow. This is an amazing piece. This is a piece of opalized wood in three pieces. We'll put it in the bucket, bring it with us upstairs, and we'll reassess the value of everything we found today. Lisa and I put everything to this. Practically, my bank account's zero. Lisa's bank account's zero. We're not earning any income. The income that we get is what we find and what we sell. So we've got a buyer coming. She's a friend of Lisa's. She's from Spain. Apparently, she wants to uh, start selling opal over in Spain. <laughs> Seven grand would be would be would be nice. Hello, Yusaya. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. How are you? Yeah, good. People are looking for opal in in Europe. I'm keen to buy, uh, but let's see. Let's see what they offer me. Yeah. So we found this piece. Unfortunately, it's it broke. Yeah, what about these pieces? Uh, they belong as well to the same... Yes, yeah, so it's all from the same section. Josiah and Lisa have opalized wood fossil. It's predominantly blue-green and in the rough. How much uh, do you want for that? 7,000. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it's, it's three pieces. Uh, it's not two, just one, you know, like... I'm not gonna pay seven grand. Nice shot. So five grand is my offer. So think about it. Yeah, five is a little bit too low for us. Like we're like we're both starting in this, and we we you know we do really need the money. So I think we'll we'll go with six and a half. No more than six, guys. It's my no. It's my last offer. What do you think? Six. Six thousand. Done. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Saya. No sale for the season. <laughs> We're going to use this money just to, to buy the basic, basic necessities to give us, because uh, we've got nothing in the bank. So, uh, yeah, super happy. Starting to work with Josaya here in the desert. We're getting opal. It's just, it's just the beginning. <laughs>